Can you hear me? Okay, I guess um, we have a feedback there. Uh, my apologies, guys. Uh, well, I was telling you that um, we are going to start with the activity that I left yesterday related to the conversation. I don't know if there is any volunteer who wants to start right now. Okay, Cecilia, so you're a, a volunteer, go ahead. Yes, uh, my partner is Alejandra. Are you there, Alejandra? Alejandra? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's start or let's begin. Okay, go ahead. Okay. okay. Hi, my name is Alejandra. What is your name? My name is Ceci. Nice to meet you, Ceci. Nice to meet you too, Alejandra. What do you like to do? Uh, well, I like to read, watch movies, um, do puzzles, uh, sleep, <laughs> and I like to learn new things. And you, Alejandra? I like to travel, uh, play a sport, and dance. Where have you traveled? Um, <clears throat> I had traveled uh, to Spain, Italy, uh, France, Germany, Belgium, and England. Oh, that sounds great. Ceci, do you study? Yes, I study at the University of El Salvador. Uh, what career are you studying? Uh, well, I'm studying international relations. Uh, what is your favorite subject? Well, I have several, but for example, law and economics. Wow, interesting. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Me too. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Take care. Okay, very good conversation. Um, guys, um, the only thing, the only answer, observation that I can say or I can mention to you is that um, to sound more natural, uh, try to use contractions. For instance, when you say it is, uh, try to say it. Uh, or for instance, when you say uh, what is, try to say what. Okay, so things like that to just to sound more natural because in our way you, you're going to um, be uh, feeling like, or, or the other person is, gonna, is going to listen to you like if we were talking with, uh, well, <laughs> Yeah, informal English, we, we, I'm going to say informal English because it's like uh, the way the, the um, American uh, people, well, I'm not American, uh, uh, people that live in the United States or sounds like that, um, they try to use uh, more contractions in the conversation. This is just an advice that I can give to you. But the conversation was good. It was about travel. Very good. Excellent job. Um, anyone else who wants to participate? Alicia, okay, Alicia, and Mariela. Mariela is it's my par is my partner. Okay, very good. Where is Mariela? Me teacher, I'm here. Okay, very good. Uh, so, I'll, if you're ready, you can start right now. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hi, my name is Alicia. What's your name? Hello, my name is Mariela. Do you like the movies? Yes, I do. What kind of movies do you like? Well, I have I don't have a, a favorite type of movie, but I don't like romance movies. Well, do you see the movie called Narnia? Yes, I was in love with that movie in my childhood. What movie of this trilogy is your favorite? Are two movies, right? 
Yes, there are three of them, but my favorite is the first one, when all begin. The other ones are a little sad, so I prefer the first. I understand. I like the battle in the Chronicles of Narnia, the Prince Caspian. Oh yeah, that's where, that was very exciting because in the first movie they are child, but in the battle we can see how did they grow. Yes, I think that Edmund learns and grows so much. In the beginning, he was very annoyed. Oh, of course he was. I can't stand him in the beginning. He betrayed his family and he only can scream and cry in the whole movie. Right. I wish they eat some candies of the white witch. Of course, never cheating someone, but these candies are interesting. True. Actually, I searched the recipe of the scrimped square dessert in TikTok, and then they seem very, very sweet. Did you try to cook them? No, because only looking the recipe, they seem too sweet for my taste. What did you prefer, sweet or salad? I like both, but not excessively. I prefer salad food. What dish is your favorite? I don't have one favorite, but I like cheesecakes and tree milk cakes. And you? Do you have a favorite dish or dessert? Um, really? I don't have a favorite dish too. About the dessert, I like a mango ice cream. It's fun to go home. Bye, Marilla. See you tomorrow. You're right. It's late. Then see you tomorrow too, Alicia. Bye. Okay, amazing, amazing. Very good conversation. Also, very good accent. And nice. Okay, no, very good, guys. Um, well, anyone else? I, I don't have comments for this conversation because this sounds very natural and also uh, you have a very good accent. Okay, so congratulations to both of you. Um, anyone else who wants to participate? Anyone else who wants to practice? Oh, um, I, I, was I was checking here mainly. Oh, Miley? Mylon? Hola, lo siento. Sí, tengo okay. un problema. Uh, this is your partner. Yeah, mm, my partner is uh, Blanca. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear the name. Blanca. Brenda, okay, where is Brenda? Blanca. Ah, Blanca. Okay, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Where is Blanca? Blanca, are you here? Blanca? I guess Blanca is not here, Miley. <laughs> bueno, entonces. Okay. Um, okay, Blanca, we're going to wait. Uh, I mean, Miley, uh, we're going to wait for Blanca. Uh, let's see if she appears in, in, in that way you can develop your, you can uh, do the role play here in, in the video conference, okay? We're going to wait some minutes. Uh, while we wait, we're going to give the opportunity to Jose Luis. Jose Luis? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, sir. Um, um, who my, is your partner? My partners is Sonia and Oscar. Sonia and Oscar, okay. Are you here, Oscar, Sonia? Sonia, yes. okay, I'm, <laughs> I am see you there. And where is Oscar? Oscar, are you here? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. So, um, you can start right now. Okay. This conversation is about Christmas and New Year's okay. parties. Okay. Very good. Thank you for okay. letting me know that, sir. Okay. Hi, Sonia. Nice to see you. Hi, Jose. Nice to see you too. Who comes with you? Oh, he's my cousin, Oscar. He's come to visit us for the Christmas and New, and New Year in Paris. Great. Nice to meet you, Oscar. Where are you from? Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Thank you. I am from Morazan. Great. Welcome to the city. I hope you enjoy this holiday a lot. Thanks. I really hope I had a lot of fun. What plans do you have for Christmas, Jose? Oh, I will travel to New York. I will spend Christmas with my mother and my sister, Jackie. Wow, sounds great. Oh, sorry. I have to go. 
the taxi is coming for me right now. I was glad to see you, Sonia, and to meet your cousin, Oscar. Take care. Have a good trip. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Greeting to your mom and Jackie. Goodbye, Jose. Have a good trip. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you soon, my friends. Happy holidays. Finish teacher. Okay, very good. Good conversation. Okay, good flow of the conversation. I like it. Because uh, you are all the things that are in the conversation. I ah, good coming for you. Okay, congratulations. Um, so anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Nobody else? Blanca, are you here? Not yet. Okay. Um, Juan? Hi. Hi, Juan. Um, good evening, sir. Um, uh, what is your partner? Uh, Maximo Arteaga and Margarita. Maximo and Margarita. Okay, Maximo. Margarita. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, sir. Uh, well, let's see if Margarita is here. No, teacher. No, she's not here. Okay. Okay, well, so sad, guys. Uh, well, in this case, it is not possible to um, do the role play, but um, we're going to do the following. Um, if you get together tomorrow, if you want to participate in practicing your conversation here in the video conference, I will give you an space. Even in uh, the end, probably um, I will give you an space too if we develop all the things um, that we have to, to do tonight, okay? Um, by the way, uh, well, we're going to move to the activity because I, I, I haven't seen anyone else who wants to be a volunteer uh, with the conversation. So we're going to move to um, the topic that we left yesterday. But before developing that uh, or going through uh, that topic, um, we are going to develop an activity. Um, have you ever uh, played or complete word search? Do you know what is a word search? No. No? No teacher. No. Probably yes, but you don't know the name. Uh, what about the name in Spanish? Um, Los word search are uh, sopas de letras. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Better, okay. right? So uh, the word search are sopas de letras in Spanish. So I think... Uh, so oh. Most of you know that, right? ¿Verdad que la mayoría este, sí, sí conocemos o hemos este, visto o al menos desarrollado alguna sopa de letra? Sí, sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Este, yo les voy a compartir un enlace. Esta es una sopa de letra este, eh, bastante interactiva eh, porque la van a resolver de, directamente desde una página web. Solo tenme un segundo. Um, es relacionada este, a verbos en inglés. Ahorita se los, se los comparto. Está. Les voy a compartir en mi pantalla. Hay algunas cosas que no se las puedo compartir como, eh, o sea, en, en mi pantalla directamente o mostrárselas eh, completamente este, por cuestiones de copyright. Eh, porque luego este video se tiene que subir a YouTube y este, eh, YouTube penaliza. Así que eh, si se utiliza como materiales externos. Ahorita ustedes pueden acceder, ya les envié este al, al, aquí al chat de Zoom el enlace este para resolver el word search. Son eh, alrededor de 15 palabritas, pero son, son, la mayoría de ellos son este, verbos. Eh, con ellos vamos a hacer una actividad más adelante. Eh, ahorita les voy a dar, ¿qué les parece si les doy seis minutos? Este, de momento para resolver este wordage. Una vez lo tengan, necesito que por favor este, le tomen una captura a ese wordage y me la envíen al grupo de este, WhatsApp. Ahí me indican, bueno, ahí se va a este, evidenciar en cuánto tiempo usted desarrolló. Veamos quién es el más rápido resolviendo 
este tipo de postres. ¿Ok? Déjenme, solo quiero ver si puedo compartir aquí. ¿Sí, ya, ¿Ya vieron el enlace en Zoom? Yes. Sí, bueno, excelente. Muy bien. Yo, mientras tanto, les puedo compartir como este, una porción de la, eh, del ejercicio, que sería este. Aquí ustedes solo le dan este, al botón Begin y ahí a un costado, al lado derecho, van a tener listado de las palabras que esté a buscar. Seis minutos. Inician a partir de este momento. Son 8.32. Y contando. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo van? Este, ¿Ya encontraron la mitad? ¿Está difícil? ¿Un poco? A little. <laughs> ok. Let's see if we finish in six minutes. If not, I will give you just two extra minutes. Ok.
Excuse me, teacher. Okay. Um, where, where we share the screen? Yes, once you finish, you have to take a screenshot. Uh, probably if you are developing this activity in your phone or in your computer, it doesn't matter. So take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay, I think that I... Uh, mm, Creo que no estoy en el grupo. Ah, okay. Uh, try to look for the link in order to join to this group uh, in the email that English Cooperative was shared to you related to this uh, course. I don't know if you received the credentials there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Try to look for it. If not, let me know. Now I will share a link to you, okay? Uh, I found it. Thank you. Okay, very good. Yes, I'm checking here. Uh, you're Alicia, right? You did it in 323. Uh, okay, so fast. Good. That's a good score. Thank you. Okay, guys, I, I think that's enough time in order to develop the, that activity. Mostly because one of you have already uh, finished it. Some of you have already finished this activity. I'm just checking in here that, let me see, Rosemary uh, has already completed this. And also um, someone with the name of Ale. Um, I guess it's Ale Alejandra or Alexandra, probably. Okay, very good. So, um, oh, someone, uh, let me see. I guess I had to add your name to your numbers in order to identify you um, better. Okay. Good check. Tell me. Uh, the same for WhatsApp. 
Yes, you have to send the, the evidence, uh, in this case, in a screenshot there, uh, you see in the WhatsApp group, okay? Mm -hmm. And just send the ones that you, that you uh, find. It doesn't matter if you didn't complete all the activity, okay? Don't worry about okay. that. I was sent. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, well, we're going to move, uh, just let me stop sharing here this part and we are going to move um, to the uh, platform now, Fingers Corporative, just give me, can you just one more, please. Uh, going to do this and this too. Okay, here we have, uh, this is the video that we were discussing just related. Um, related to the conversation and phrasal verse. Um, we're going to move on uh, to the next lesson objective. And it says, just take a look at this lesson objective. It says, um, in this class, you will notice the stress patterns in requests with two par phrasal words, okay? Uh, what we're going to do uh, first, first is watch the video. I'm going to play it here in the video conference later. I will be explaining some things related to your stress. Do you know what is stress? Do you know what stress means? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, very yes. good. So uh, what about the others? Just give me a thumbs up if you know the meaning of this, uh, um, of this word stress. Uh, if not, just give me a thumbs down. Okay, at least, yeah. About is this about uh, intonation uh, an intonation yes an intonation yes yes good excellent okay we're going to play um the video right now and then we're going to start discussing about this um just let me explain this video and also share the audio if you cannot hear the audio let me know okay um i'm going to play it right now pay attention please Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, now we're going to stop there because we are going to do that activity. Um, I want a volunteer to pronounce the first uh, phrase over. Um, do we have a volunteer or do I have to choose one? Mr. Chair. Okay, sir, go ahead. The pick, first one. Pick up of things. Okay, good. Pick up or things. Yes. Uh, what is the stress here? Pick. Okay, pick. So we, we pronounce it a uh, well, the peak in like if we give like a high intonation to our work, good. Um, anyone else? The second one? Cut it out. Okay, cut it out. What is the intonation in, on, on, on that phrase? Can you identify that? It. What is the stress? Out. Could, 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 and could. out. Could and out, yes, that's correct. We have two different uh, words in, in which we use the stress, okay? Could it out, very, very good. Um, anyone else? Sonia, do you want to participate in the number three? Yes, drop okay. me off. Drop me off. Okay, where is the stress?
drop. And drop, yes, very good, drop. If we pronounce this phrase, we say, drop me off. Drop me off. So it's like we use the, the, the uh, high intonation here in drop, and then we use the, the low one here in, in me off and you know, on those words, okay? Um, and then um, let me see who is Carla. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay. Turn, turn the radio up. Okay. Turn what is the, the radio up. What is the stress? Turn the radio up. But uh, can you please just identify the, where uh, is the, the, the stress in this phrase? Anyone? Anyone else? The radio. Radio. The radio. Okay. Well, in, in this one, uh, if we pronounce turn the radio up, so we're going to identify that turn um, must be uh, with a stress and also up at the end. Um, it's like when you are giving a comment to someone, you have to emphasize what they have to do. In, in this case, um, this is just, just like a tip in order to identify um, the, 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 the stress in those words, mostly because we're using a comment. A, like, it's like an, a comment is like an order, an order in, uh, uh, or any instructions that we get to someone else. Um, the same happened with the last one. It says, put the phone down. Put the phone down, okay? Put must be stressed now down because there, there are the phrasal verbs that we are using. Um, in some cases, because um, it, there are some uh, phrasal verbs, mostly ones that uh, have three different words uh, that must be like um, without stress. It, just let me go back to this. Uh, for instance, if you see um, here, um, I guess there is no an example here, just with the phrasal verse. Uh, pick up toys, pick the toys up. So um, uh, pick them up, but usually when, when we use a, a word that it, it, it doesn't provide like uh, and stress, so we can identify it uh, by the, the, the pronunciation that we're going to use for that one. So if it is uh, lower than the, the previous one, so uh, we're going to say that that word is not stress, even that is uh, part of the phrasal verb that we're using. Um, just let me go um, to the next lesson on the case. This is just related to pronunciation, but this one, um, it's going to be related about the use of structures that, um, or in the sentences that we use in English. Um, in the lesson objected, it says, participant will practice making requests using model, can, could, would, and would you mind, plus yearns. Uh, first of all, I, I want to know if you know um, what a gerund is. Do you know what is a gerund? Do you have an idea about what is a gerund? ING. ING. Mm -hmm. ING. Okay. What else? The verb plus ing. Yes, the verb plus ing. Okay, that's like the structure that we use for gerunds. Okay, but do you know when um, do we have to use a gerund? When the when the action continue in the time. Okay, well, we're going to do, um, well, we're going to see um, the uh, both different things because um, we have, in this case, verbs with the ing that we are going to use as a continuous form in sentences. 
But uh, when we talk about gerunds, gerunds are nouns that has the same structure like using verb plus the ing form, but these one are now uh, used in a sentence in a continuous way or like um, a progressive way in, in a sentence. They are used as nouns. Uh, we're going to, to see that. Give me just one moment. Uh, let Let me um, explain something a little bit about that. Okay, okay. Uh, my apologies. I was just answering someone that was asking uh, something related to the class. Um, guys, well, I was telling you that in a case of gerunds, gerunds are words um, that we construct using a verb because it's going to be the root that we want to be using for gerunds. It, we're going to use a verb plus the ing form. But in this case, that word is not going to be used as a progressive weight in a sentence. Gerunds are used uh, mostly with nouns, but they can be part of the object too. Um, in the case of gerunds, um, for instance, if we use like, um, like words like uh, speaking, okay, as a noun, uh, and I'm going to construct a sentence using speaking, Speaking is the most difficult part in learning English, okay? So if you identify, well, I'm going to write that sentence here in order to uh, give you a, a better explanation about that. Um, I'm writing with capital letters. I didn't have to do that. Oh, this Q. Like speaking as the mask difficult skill in English, probably for some of us, <laughs> my case speaking was like the, the, the uh, well, one of the skills that I have to work a lot because um, I consider, I, and my, this is my, my personal uh, opinion about this, speaking is like the most difficult one. Um, cuando nosotros estamos utilizando este eh, erundios, eh, nosotros los podemos utilizar este, como sujetos y no necesariamente ellos van a indicar este, un, uh, una acción progresiva. Eh, cuando los usamos como sujetos, en este caso, eh, como el ejemplo que este, ustedes pueden eh, observar en la oración, no sé si, si se logra visualizar la, la, eh, la oración, ¿sí? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Bueno, excelente. Bien, cuando nosotros lo utilizamos este, de esta manera, eh, nosotros podemos, eh, si, si, si dividimos la oración, podemos hacer este, o identificar cada una de las partes de ella, este, nos vamos a dar cuenta de que a pesar de que nosotros tenemos construido un verbo, que en este caso es speak, más el ing, no está denotando una acción progresiva o una acción continua, acción continua, perdón, en la oración. Esta se utiliza como nombre. ¿Cómo traducirían speaking en, este, en la oración? O, ¿O cómo traduciríamos, mejor dicho, toda la oración? Hablar es la, es la habilidad más difícil en inglés. Ok. La parte más difícil de hablar inglés es hablar. Uh -huh. Ok, good. Excelente. Ok. 
So um, if we use, if, if we identify each part of this sentence, we're gonna say that, what is this, the, the, the subject here? Do, do you know that our all sentence have subject, word, and complement, right? So what is the subject here? Speaking. Speaking, okay, this is gonna be our subject. I'm going to use this. Okay, this is going to be our subject. And um, what about the verb? Is. Is, okay, very good. Is is going to be our or bird. Um, I guess I'm going to write just the letter V in order to say that this is going to be all bird. Okay, and what is the complement? Oh, what is the object of the sentence? Hmm? The most difficult. The most difficult, just that? Skill in English. Is skill in English, okay. The most difficult skill in English. Uh, okay. Okay, there we have three different parts. Uh, all sentences in English has the same structure. Subject, verb, and complement. The only things that we are going to be adding there is when we use like um, the variations of them. For instance, we use uh, um, an affirmative sentence, if we use a negative sentence or an interrogative sentence, but uh, most, of, most of them uh, require these three elements there. Subject, verb, and the complement. Okay, um, as you can see there, even though that speaking is like um, a word uh, that we use with verb plus the ing, that is uh, uh, like the same that we use in, in, in progressive form, in progressive form, or um, the continuous form. That in this case it is called um, present progressive or present continuous. It's not working like that. Okay. It's not um, giving you an idea about it, about something that is happening in a moment or something that someone is doing uh, probably in a moment that we are uh, expressing that idea. All those gerunds can uh, be used as subjects, okay? Gerunds can be used as subjects and also, um, there are uh, like the same structures of the, the one that we use in, 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 in present continuous or present uh, progressive. Um, for instance, if I use walk, I can use walking. Um, uh, if I use work, I can use working as a subject too. Um, and well, there we have some other examples about the verbs use, uh, using or the using the suffix uh, um, of the ing form, uh, but they are used as subjects. Um, now let's talk about um, the uses of um, gerunds in um, the uh, well. In this case, in the complement of a sentence. Because it is possible to use it there. Um, let me just write it down here a different sentence using gerunds as object. Uh, that it, well, in this case, gerunds as object, but not working as a, as, um, a complement of the sentence. I'm going to write this one. I will take a walking. Okay, turn this way. Okay, there you have. Uh, so in this case, we are not using um, the gerund as, as a subject. We are using the gerund as an object. Gerund as object has the same um, base of the ones that we use uh, as, as subject because it is used as a noun, no as an action. And when I say I would take a walking. So I'm referring to the act, uh, no, um, 
in order to, to don't confuse this, it's I'm talking about uh, what I'm going to do, but in a general form, like no referring to the action I'm, that I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if it is clear what I'm saying or not. Yeah, it's about go to the, maybe it's not about the go to the park, it's something like mouse on uh, sport, walking yeah. tools, maybe mm -hmm. it's something like that? Yes, that, that's a, a that, I guess that's a good explanation about that. We're not referring to the action that we are doing, we are referring to um, the sport, how in this case walking, uh, we can consider the like, sport, so an activity, or let's say activity two, um, that I can develop. No referring to the action that I'm I'm doing, in this case, to the activity that I will do. And because this is an activity, this is considered as a, a, the walking as a noun, no as an action, okay? A, a also, if we identify it in a sentence here, because um, we are using this as a noun, um, I'm going to use, say, um, a, a determiner, in this case, eight, in order to use it with, with a noun, okay? So I will take a walking. Um, that's different if, if I say, I will, um, uh, for instance, it's gonna be so different if I say it, I am walking with my friends in park, okay? Well, I'm walking with my friends this weekend. If we can, if we use part of the complements of that sentence. In that case, we are referring to the action that I'm doing because it's working as a progressive, a, a progressive verb. So because the action um, that I'm referring to. Um, I'm developing in that moment, or, or I'm doing that in that moment, okay? Sure. So, tell me, sir. But if I omit the letter A, walking is a verb. Um, no, because in this case, um, you need to use the verb to be in order to use it is, uh, as a, a progressive form. Remember that when we use the um, ing form, as a continuous form or progressive form, we need an auxiliary verb. In this case, must be the verb to be. So if we do not use uh, the verb to be, it is not possible to use a progressive uh, verb. Sin, sin, el verbo auxiliar to, eh, el, sin el verbo auxiliar to be, este no es posible expresar una idea este, eh, continua o progresiva. Eh, para las, las, los verbos progresivos es necesario tener ese verbo auxiliar be, de lo contrario no denotan una acción este, que se realice en el momento. Lo que sucede aquí, bueno, retomando tal vez un poco, si yo le quito este, la A, simplemente este, eh, yo estaría omitiendo este, un elemento importante, llamémoslo, este, de, o, o veamos lo mejor dicho, este... Eh, desde la parte de gramática, este, porque eh, estoy quitando este, el determinante eh, que hace referencia al nombre. ¿Sí? Okay. O sea, la, la, la idea es como, como cuando decimos nosotros en español, si, si la traducimos al español. Este, eh, yo tomaré una caminata, un tour de caminata este, este fin de semana. ¿Sí? Eh, si yo digo un, eh, o sea, la traducción este del eight, eh, si yo, perdón, omito el un, este, eh, yo estaría diciendo en español, este, yo tomaré eh, tour caminata esta semana. Gramaticalmente, este, en español, eh, necesitamos algo para, este, eh, en ese caso, en, en inglés se llama determinante, para expresar correctamente la idea. Lo mismo sucede en inglés. Si yo no utilizo el eight, no estoy completando la idea este, de lo que quiero expresar. ¿sí? Si yo digo, yo tomaré este, un tour de caminata, eh, ahí lo estoy haciendo de una forma correcta. Ahora, si yo este, digo, yo tomaré un... Eh, perdón, yo, si yo tomaré este tour caminata, eh, hay algo que, que, que no cuadra en esa oración. No sé si me voy a entender. 
Yes. Sí, vale. Veamos. Ahora, este, eh, veamos eh, el uso de los modales. Eh, ¿Saben qué son los modals, ver? Los verbos modales. Disculpe, solo una pregunta. ¿A qué hora iba a terminar la clase hoy? ¿Perdón? ¿A qué hora iba a terminar la clase hoy? Fíjense que como iniciamos este, unos minutitos por, este, le, le, les decía, este, un problema que tuve eh, uh -huh. con mi computadora, este, solamente vamos a, a, sí, vamos a, a, a reponer esos okay. minutitos. Pero no okay. sé si tiene algo que hacer, este, Maylene. Pues. No, 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 solo quería saber. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Este, vamos a terminar para, para ser este, más exactos con la hora y este, por si alguien tiene algo que hacer, pues puede consultar la, la, la videoconferencia este, ya grabada luego en YouTube. Este, en el, eh, ¿cómo se llama esto? Eh, en la playlist que este, está en YouTube, que a ustedes también les compartieron. Este, en el correo electrónico pueden consultarlo luego. Para, para ser más exactos, vamos a terminar a las, iniciamos a las 8, 8, 15. 9 y 15. 15. Ajá. Ajá, sí, exactamente. 9 y 15. Ok. Sí, sí, estamos bien. Perfecto. Vale, gracias. 9 y 15. Eh, bien, entonces continuemos. Veamos este, el uso de los... De los modales. ¿Qué son los modales? Los modal verbs. Can, could, may, should. Ok. ¿Y para qué los utilizamos? Are like to actually are verb. Ok. O sugerir. Perdón, no lo escuché. ¿Qué dijo? To suggest. Mm -hmm. Opinion. Advice. Okay, okay, very good. So you, you are you are mentioning okay, you mentioning the, the categories of then. Um but when do we use it? Do you know when do we use model verse? And I remember that you we can mm -hmm. use model verse when you want to express that you can, for example, you can, and want, that you want to, to do at advertisements or that you must to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, this is uh, um, one of the uses of the model verse. In order to be more general related to that, uh, well, in this case, uh, we can say that model verse are used uh, or are words that we use as an auxiliary verbs um, in order to express abilities, uh, necessities, conditions, uh, or <laughs> modality if we want to uh, call in that way, okay? So can you please just identify what are the auxiliary verbs or the modal verbs that we use for ability? Can. Can, okay. Can. And the variation of it, right? Can't. Um, uh, we can use can in order to express an ability. Okay, for instance, uh, if you um, do something that nobody else uh, uh, does, so we are expressing an ability. Remember that an ability is something that just a group of people uh, related to all the, um, um, I wanna say like population, um, can do. So in this case, just a group of people uh, can do over the whole population of a city of, of a country. Uh, some examples of it, uh, so basic examples like soccer, basketball, uh, those sports, um, if we use it with more verbs, we will identify that these are abilities, playing chess or playing um, what hockey, yes. things like that. So our abilities. Eh, básicamente, este, ah, esos son como ejemplos más, más bien básicos este, referente eh, a, a lo que se refiere a una habilidad. Pero recordemos que una habilidad es aquello que solamente un grupo selecto este, de personas eh, puede realizar sobre este, eh, una población. ¿sí? Eh, para ser un poco más específicos en el uso de lo, 
de, 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 los, este, de este verbo modal, ¿verdad? De este verbo auxiliar, can't. Um, do you know when, when do we use would? When we... Um, when you for ask. Example, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it is possible to use it when, when you are going to ask something, but what else? When you request in polite form. Okay, good. Mom, you were about to say something? Yeah, um, um, oh, okay, no, um, um, I, I'm agree with my, my classmate about an ask and Mm -hmm. Or maybe if you if you want to um, ask, but just with um, expressing polite, polite. I don't know if I, something like that. But for example, yeah. uh, if you if you want to know um, what would you like to do, uh, would you like to go to the park, or maybe would you like to go to eat an ice cream, okay. something like that. Yes, that's correct. Um, but uh, I have to tell you that not only just for um, requesting, uh, we can use it in order to express um, um, some ideas. No, I'm preferring not, not requesting like in a way that uh, we use uh, commonly, right? Using uh, equations for it. Because we can use would with, to, in order to express uh, or in order to uh, inform to someone else related to something that they can uh, do in a polite way. Because um, is it possible if we use it, uh, for instance, if, we, if we're going to use an interrupted um, sentence, we can use uh, the, the expressions like, uh, would you like to taste it? So we are asking uh, something, we're requesting um, something in a polite way, but we need to wait in order to the, to the other person to confirm if they want or not. Um, but in order to express it in affirmative sentence, it, it is possible to also the idea is going to it is requesting something uh, or asking for permission uh, about something uh, because need, we need to, to wait for that um, before doing something, right? Um, in this case, we can use like, um, I would like, um, I would like a cup of tea. Uh, I'm expressing an idea um using the the, the, the same like uh, a different structure by using the same words uh, I would like a cup or I mean in this case I would like um, um in order to inform to the some inform to the other person um something that I want okay uh, and I'm like requesting to, but in a polite way tell me maybe when we're going to express uh uh, things that uh, we would like to do, uh, maybe in the future, or, or express an idea um, um, about or um, uh, something like wishes, maybe mm -hmm. for the future. Yes, that that's correct. So something that uh, something that well, in this case, like inform someone about something that I want to do in the future, but. Uh, in a near future, right? But um, I, I'm waiting um, in order to see if it is possible or not, because I'm requesting something even though I'm uh, I, I'm uh, using the affirmative uh, using the yes the affirmative form in, in, in English. So uh, it, it is possible to use it in that way too. Uh, oh, we can use it in questions like in the interrogative uh, sentences like the ones that I, uh, I mentioned before. Uh, for instance, would you like to test it? Would you like to get out with me? Um, but remember that because we are, being, we are being polite using would, we need to wait to uh, the other person to answer if it is possible or not. Porque en, ese, en el uso del would, nosotros debemos tener mucho cuidado porque este, en este caso lo estamos haciendo de una forma este eh, bastante polite este por lo mismo nosotros debemos esperar una respuesta de la otra persona 
eh, si está, bueno, en este caso, si es una este, pregunta de, 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 de sí y no, nosotros debemos esperar si esta persona este, acuerda o no realizar este X eh, acción o, 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 o responder a la, a, la, a la solicitud que nosotros le estamos este, haciendo. ¿Ok? Ahí tenemos eh, ahorita Wood, este, simplemente eh, para expresar ideas um, con el gerundio, que eso lo vamos a ver este, muy probablemente el día de mañana, porque pues, ya no tenemos tiempo. Este, tengo una presentación referente este, al uso de los, de, los, de los models para que vayamos viendo este, eh, estructura por estructura, eh, en el caso de los modales, eh, del, de habilidad, este, en el caso de los modales de necesidad y este, eh, hay otro este tipo de modales en el cuales nosotros eh, expresamos ideas o, o, o este, interrumpimos pues, eh, ideas en las cuales nosotros queremos expresar, um, digamos, Um, por decirlo de, de, de esta forma, se me olvida el, el, el nombre. Disculpen. Um, disculpen que, que tengo ahorita este, un, un problema. De, son eh, para expresar condiciones, ¿sí? Condiciones este, eh, sobre... Eh, realizar X o, 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 o Y este, actividad. Pero creo que este, les voy a extender un poco más esta, esta información el día de mañana, ya cuando veamos la diapositiva, este, para que vayamos comprendiendo un poco más el uso de los modales en inglés. Aquí solo son un par de modales, pero tenemos este, eh, otro resto de, de verbos modales, um, como short, have you ever used short or made? Or even will, because we can use will as a model word. Also shoot, ought to. ¿Han escuchado este, esos verbos modales anteriormente? No, teacher. ¿No? no. Vamos a ver. Este, los voy a escribir aquí. Tal vez sí. Voy a escribirlos. Por ejemplo, este, ¿han utilizado ustedes el meet? Meet. Uh, made, might. Ajá, might. Yes. Eh, so, ochi, ochi. Ochi. Uh -huh. Es ochi, es con G. Ochi. Uh -huh. Sí, así. Y show. Will también lo podemos utilizar con moro. Okay. Ah, esos son algunos. Must también es un moro. Moro. Sí. Hay otros. Creo que uno o dos más. Este, eh, que son verbos modales que también podemos utilizar cada uno con un propósito diferente um, ahí tenemos meet, might, or to, show, will and must okay. mañana los vamos a estudiar así que este de momento este, pasen una feliz noche y cuídense okay. eh, y Thank mañana pues primero Dios vamos a estar este, a, a las 8 en punto iniciando la clase, me disculpo por el inconveniente de ahora Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.